Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where things are in an interesting situation. We're fighting this war right now, we're chasing after these guys. I'm not sure we're actually going to catch them, but we're just heading over towards the capital of Flanders over here. So we're on our way over there. We also have this dangerous faction that just recently popped up. Now they're exactly at their military power here. I expect that unless we can get one of these people out of the faction, that they will likely end up continuing to get, in appearance sake anyway, more powerful than us, because we're going to have this number ticking down for the next little while while we are in this holy war. So we could try to get, say, the Queen of Pomerania out of this faction. That's a potential option. Do we have anyone available for marriage? We do. Is this our player heir? He is not. Let's do it. That should deal with that faction, at least temporarily. So that's at least a temporary solution there. These guys are currently heading in this direction, and we don't catch them. I feel like we have to chase them. I really, really do. We have reinforcements coming in over here. They've decided not to go that route. Okay, they're looking to link up with their friends. Fair enough, but I think we can maybe catch them over here. Hmm. They're running. Oh, I think we catch them here, actually. Yes, we do. Excellent. Our reinforcements come in. This is very close, actually. But it's swinging to our side. Nice. This battle is going to be worth a lot. Unfortunately, it is hurting our total soldier count. Pretty dramatically. So we'll need to do something about that. We do have a new stewardship perk available, and we got a level of fame, which is good for us. We're going to grab War Profiteer for right now. To stave off these costs a little bit. Now that does put us at 24%. Now who was the war leader here again? The war leader is the Duke of Flanders. Okay. That would explain why we were heading up this direction. I'm okay with it. Let's head up here. I do expect that this dangerous faction is going to be... Okay, that's an independence faction. The King of Bavaria might be able to be convinced to get out of that. We also may be able to white piece this. The question is, is that... Is that is getting out of the war and stopping the factionalism right now more valuable to us than the 472 gold or not? That's the question that I have here. And the answer... That guy's not very relevant to that answer. We can imprison her. No, we can't. A 35% chance of imprisoning Princess Gulbis... Wait a second, is this the same Princess Gulbis as is... No, that's Princess Grasses. I always get those two confused. Okay. None of those are particularly relevant. Noted. We have reinforcements over there, but that's not a relevant number of reinforcements. And that guy that j we just brought into the war, he's not a relevant number either. That's 31 months. Okay. I think we have enough time. I think we have enough time. How long is this siege going to be? This is a level 7 fort. Max of 11 months. Oof. Hopefully we get some decent breaches here. They're hopping in boats. Okay. 
We have successfully swayed Princess Grassus a little bit more. Now, we could imprison her, and we have a 25% chance of, su of success on that right now. That would be an act of tyranny, however. This is down to a minus 31 chance, and 40 of those are her opinion of us. Now, that's what? Four-fifths, so 80% opinion. So, yeah... If we get her to like us enough, we can convince her to let this happen. Can we give her... No, I think we tried to give her a ward before, didn't we? I think we did. Neither of these are our player error, right? Right. And then this would be... This is the different grasses, yeah. So we can't actually give it to her, unfortunately. That would get us some free, like, 10 opinion. Something like that. Are they sieging? I don't think so. Okay. We don't have a breach here yet. The siege is currently stalemated. I'm hoping that when we siege the capital, we can force an end to this war. That's that's the idea here. That's not a guarantee, but that's the hope. 28 months, 22 months. Both of those should be okay if we get this war finished up. We're plus 26 right now. We do have ticking war score. And what is the county in question that is... Hang on, what is the county in question? Where are you? Oh, up here. Okay, they are sieging the war goal. Noted. Max of 12 months there. That's okay. The war goal's all the way up there. I did not realize that. Hopefully we get a good capture here. If not, we may want to white piece this. 11 months. That's fine. We just got household soldiers discovered. Which is nice. And what is being innovated next? Urbanization. That is really solid, actually. We will happily take that being innovated next. 100%. Okay. So this is going to be done in two months. 90 gold. Sway scheme gains progress. No. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, so the question becomes, 45 days here, how long on this siege? Nine months? Four months? Okay, that, that hurt a little bit, that tick. 30 days. We are ahead on this siege curve. I don't know if this is enough. It's enough to force a white piece. Guaranteed. And maybe we should be content with that. Okay. How long will it take us to get up here? Quite a long time, is the answer. Yeah, there's no way he would ever accept that. Why are they holy warring on this anyway? It's all the way up here. Look how far away that is from their territory. Okay, very awkward. They're just trying to create border gore, I guess. Is it worth it to white piece this? And that kind of bugged out. There we go. Is it worth it to us? Yes, it is. Let's just white piece it. We'll get out of here. Disband our army. And we can focus on getting our power projection back where it needs to be. This dangerous faction instantly disappears. So does this one. Wonderful. I expected that, of course. We are fabricating a claim on this county. This guy's going to be pretty salty at us for doing that. Question. Can we put him in prison? 66% chance, and he would rebel. What are our odds of revoking this county at this point? 
Still negative 43. Fair enough. Fair enough. Her personality is giving her negative 75 reasons. Ah, because she's avaricious. She's 41. She's wounded, but she is feeling fine. Okay. I mean, we gotta get these back. We could definitely attempt to pay her off. 40 opinion for 150 gold. Because she's avaricious. That's actually relatively efficient. Let's do it. What else can we do to improve opinion? This is her only title, right? County of Barsha and Barony and Shrine. Yes. What if we absolutely cut down her feudal contract to us? This would give her plus 10 opinion. And we could also potentially grant her fortification rights. Sanctioned war declaration. Okay. Uh, we don't want to we don't want to protect her from title revocation. However, we can give all of these things. That is plus 20. Coinage rights is irrelevant here. Council rights. Yes, we want her to have that. War declaration is sanctioned, and fortification rights is irrelevant here. Okay. We cannot propose more than three changes at once. That's plus 15. That, okay. So, I guess we will just give her guaranteed council rights. She's already on the council, so I think that's okay. So that'll give her plus 15 opinion of us, and it won't be relevant once we revoke this from her. Okay. So we're now at minus 2%. So we need to continue to get some opinion with her. The question is... How? I really wish we could offer her a ward here. Apparently I can't choose the recipient right now. Awkward. Okay. Well, what does she hate us for? Oh, we just got a shrine over here. That's fine. We will keep that around. That'll help our power projection for right now. She will continue to like us more as short rain years come up. We are a lunatic. Is it us who's ambitious or her who's ambitious? I believe she is ambitious. Yeah, and that definitely hurts us here. Absolute crown authority, sure. She's also upset because we... Uh... Yes, I will accept that. She's also upset because we imprisoned her family member, which was, of course, the holder of Warmia. There's painful entertainment. Every guest would gain 10 opinion of us, except for this Count, who we really don't care about. Yes, we will accept that. Did that... Is she a guest here? No, she is not. Okay. Hmm. We'll show this guy kindness, I guess. I don't care about the prestige cost right now. We just gotta get in our, uh, in our aunt's good graces here. We could potentially hold our own feast. It's an option. I do want to check in on... Ah, we can get an upgrade there. Excellent. Because we were floating a fair amount of cash. Okay. This guy wants to ransom himself. Yes, please. Do it. Okay. 68 additional gold. We'll happily take that. And I noticed that there was a differential there. Because when I offered it to him, I got 68 gold. When he offered it to me, it was 50 gold. Interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, what is this indicating? This unlocked lock here. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be indicating. Vassal factionalism. So, we can get the Queen of... The Queen of Hungary can't join another faction for 20 years. She's like a million years old. I don't think that's relevant. We spend 350 prestige. It'll be based on her personality. Okay, what is her personality? She's compassionate, just, arrogant. Okay. She'd probably like flattery, then. She's not all that pious. Okay. So we could make this countess into our rival. I don't think we need to. Oh, hang on a moment. That's the guy who holds Zambia. We can make him our friend. That's actually huge. That's 100% what we're going to do. Now, he still doesn't like us very much. But, uh, that's okay. And she did indeed renounce her faction. Wonderful. Okay, so Grasses is up to 10 currently. In terms of her opinion of us. Still at minus 1% chance here. Okay. We could work on upgrading our temple holdings. I don't think it's strictly speaking necessary, though. And none of these are particularly good. We did not succeed in swaying her. We will make another attempt. Hmm. I would absolutely love... We could remove her from the uh, line of succession. Denouncing her would give us all an imp imprisonment reason against her. 56% chance right now. That's an interesting option. Now, I I don't know what exactly denouncing will do. Will this pop up a, con a confirmation? Yes. Okay, so it'll cost 500 prestige and 125 renown. We have plenty of renown. She'll lose 50 opinion of us. And that is actually a big deal. Because that means that we will lose 40% in terms of our success chance here. So that would bring our success chance down to 16%. That is not currently useful, but it may be useful in a little while, once we get our opinion of us up a little bit higher so that we can not have to worry about that. And of course, there's also this guy. We, because his military strength is so much lower than ours, though, we might be able to just take this from him without anybody worrying about it. That's the hope, anyway. I hope it'll work. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what his opinion ends up actually being. Let's go ahead and upgrade our forest forts here. Excellent. And we can also send this guy some cash. He is a fortune builder, but he's not avaricious. Okay, fair enough. That is fine. That guy's hook on us expired. That's probably good. We don't want to have to worry about that. We're making some good progress on Ergeld as well. And then, of course, we're going to go down Meritocracy. Our soldier quality, not so great. That's for sure. We do need to work on that. Once we get this all put back together, we can definitely do that. How old are we? We're currently 31. Okay. We're doing okay on age. So that's good. Our claim fabrication progress is going reasonably. And her opinion on us is coming up 
a fair amount with some year ticks. Okay. That's fine. It's currently up to plus 11. She's still at minus... Okay, now it's at 0%. Okay. Well, we're making some progress on that front. For sure. Countess Mila. Okay, that's irrelevant. That happened despite our spouse's poor diplomacy skill. Well, that's nice. We could put that guy in prison. I don't think it's worth the roll, though. In all of those cases, that would spark rebellion. Okay. Yes, we're going to get this unpressed claim. And now the question is, can we take this from this guy? He has a 0% chance. Okay. Most of that is opinion of us. In fact, if we get his opinion up, that'll change quite a lot. Okay. So we do, of course, want to be moving our fabrication over to here, where our friend is located. He's at minus 41 right now. That will come up slowly. Very, very, very slowly. Now, the other thing that we could, in theory, do is we could provoke a rebellion. I have a sneaking suspicion that now is not the time to do that. Yeah, I don't think that now is the time to do that. But we could do that and use that as an excuse to imprison these people. It's an option, but not currently a great one. However, once we get these three counties back into the fold, we're going to be in a fantastic position financially. That said, we are maxed out in Malbork right now. Right? We can't upgrade these to level 3. Yeah, we need hoardings for that. As expected. Once we finish up with this, we're probably going to start doing that. Oh, hello. What is this event? An influx of serfs has, have arrived in the county of Warmia from the neighboring county of Barsia. They claim to be fleeing from the abusive rule of my aunt, Princess Grassis, the one we're trying to take that title from. Legally speaking, they're still in bondage to Grassus, but if I let them settle in my lands, it would be almost impossible for her to prove that they're actually her serfs. We could return it, and she would gain 25 opinion of us. She would lose 10 opinion of us here, we'd gain prestige. It's irrelevant. She may learn of our involvement if we get extra serfs. That's impressive, though, that buff. That is an impressive buff. Let's see. Revocation here. This would only be worth what? Like 18%? I think we'll show my serfs to their new farms. Hopefully she doesn't find out about it. She probably will. Okay, she's, uh, upset. And I think... Yeah, she, she definitely did find out about it. There's no doubt about that. Now, we have a 47% chance of imprisoning her. 48% right now. Okay. Well, I do want to... Th this castle is capped out for now. This castle is constructing. This castle is constructing. This gives us an interesting opportunity. And this opportunity is to expand our men-at-arms. Now, we currently have two units of skirmisher. We have two units of armored footmen and a unit of pikemen. I think that we want a third unit of armored footmen here. And that's what we're going to go for. So we'll create that. And we can also increase these in size. So how much does it cost to do that? That is 60 gold there, 90 gold. Okay, so it's the same cost as 
as creating them in the first place. Noted. That is fine. For right now, I think that we should probably focus a little bit on doing this. This is one of the best ways, since we're not currently capable of getting these three into the fold just yet, we will get them. But since we're not currently capable of doing it without provoking a rebellion, the best way to do power projection, I think, here is to expand our men-at-arms. And we can expand our men-at-arms pretty dramatically. So I'm going to expand these skirmishers. Excellent. And we can also get some vassal tax contribution. That'll be very useful as well. For now, however, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue our power projection. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.